Hi, to, uh, today I'm actually um, just finishing off this um, native tree. <laughs> it's actually, um, I think it's called an acacia. It's um, growing around um, Gippsland at the moment. Everywhere you look, there's lovely yellow trees. They're just starting to go over now. But uh, I picked this some time ago and started it and I haven't actually finished it. And you can see what I'm doing here is I'm using um, just an ordinary bit of mount board, which is great because it's a stretched piece of paper. And um, I'm actually doing uh, using gouache uh, this time on it with watercolour. So what I do to give you an effect on, on a darker colour uh, is with my watercolours, which is um, a lot of people use acrylic and you can do that, but I really like the consistency of watercolours, um, is I've used some yellow gouache and I've also got a little bit of white, um, which is giving me the sort of the lift off of the paper. And then I... Uh, add to that um, some watercolour and as you can see it gives quite a nice effect and something a little bit different to uh, the norm. I haven't quite finished this, I'm just about finishing off these little ones but I've just wanted to show you um, this technique and an interesting way in which uh, you can very quickly uh, create these uh, little sort of, they're almost like baubles um, and all it is really is, um, uh, I've got a very small brush here so it's just a number one brush you can see that. Um, I'm just taking a little bit of paint. You don't want too much and you don't want it too wet. This board doesn't allow for really wet paint. If you get it too wet, it might buckle and we don't really want that. So to keep it a nice flat, even colour, I try and use um, uh, very little water. So just a lot of paint and not much water. So it's a bit different to normal watercolour in that respect. So it's more of a dry mix. And then... All you need then to do is to create your balls and it's just literally lines sparring out and to make them look three dimensional just layer the colour on one side of the ball and therefore the other part starts to sink into the paper and you end up with this sort of three dimensional type ball. They're, they're, I actually got lots of, uh, lots of very fine um, pollen on them. And uh, then for the doing the uh, sort of buds, I just use just three or four dots. And then again, just sort of add a bit of detail on, on that. So as you can see, um, this is almost done and hopefully will be a, a wedding invite very soon. Um, so yeah, it's certainly worth having a look outside seeing if you can find one and having a go at uh, giving it a paint. It's very simple to do and uh, as I say it becomes a technique. And for the leaves, um, they're very similar. So again, um, you can literally just use the yellow, which is what I'm doing here, um, to make a leaf. And then to add a bit of green to it, mix a bit of green in your paints. And then put that over the top and I think you can see, hopefully you can see that. So I'm actually working quite small today. Hopefully um, I'll be working a bit bigger so it might make it a bit easier for you to see next time I do a video. Um, so thank you for watching and I hope you like uh, where this is going to. And um, I've obviously got a bit more to do. But um, yes, thank you very much and uh, yeah, do have a go.